the physics behind weight loss. Today, we present to you the physics behind weight loss. When you eat, some of the food is metabolized by your body and stored as fat. Fat is an energy-dense substance. It packs around 4,000 food calories per pound. That is the same as gasoline and 15 times as much as TNT. So, if you want to lose one pound, you have to burn 4,000 food calories. Fat is a carbon-based molecule that is metabolized and released by your body each time you exhale. So, how do you increase your metabolism? You can exercise, lift weights, run, do sports. But, that can take too much time. So, how does losing weight work? Consider this. You have a 2 kilogram barbell in your house. You need to lift it up by 2 meters, about the same height as a 5-year-old boy. Essentially, you need to give the barbell a potential energy of 95 calories or 400 joules to lift it. But the law of conservation of energy says that you have to get the energy from somewhere and not from nowhere. Where are you going to get that energy? You can get it from your body. So, if a couch potato like Jake and an exercise buff like Arnold both try to lift the same 2 kilogram barbell, will they burn the same amount of calories? Technically, they should. Actually, it's not a simple step. Arnold's muscle is more experienced and exercise has increased the rate of his metabolism. This makes him burn more calories more efficiently. Thus, when he lifts the same barbell, he will burn more calories than Jake even if they are lifting the same weight by the same distance. But wait, here's another thing to consider. Why do people lose more weight when doing short, high-intensity workouts rather than long, low-intensity workouts? In 2004, in a study conducted by Syracuse University, 24 men and women were tested on how many calories they burned when they walked or when they ran. Let's look at the results for men. When they ran, they burn an average of 124 calories, but when they walk, they only burn 88 calories. How is this possible when they cover the same 1,600 meter distance and carry the same mass, which is themselves? Why do the men who ran burn more calories than the men who walked? Physics says that force is work times distance. Here's the catch. When you run, you actually exaggerate your body more as you hop at each step. Thus, force is increased because force is mass times acceleration. The greater the acceleration, the greater the force. You do more work and burn more calories. The women's results show the same difference in calories burned when walking or running. So, this means this revolutionary 4-minute high-intensity workout will actually make you burn more calories. You'll be exaggerating more of your body's weight and increasing the rate of metabolism, thus burning more fat. So, there you go. That's the physics of weight loss.